Hey guys, W7, April 20th, 2013. I am traveling on the road. I uh, have not been able to cover as much news as I want, but what I've got for you today here is a bombshell. Okay, it's explosive proof that all these events were false flags. Now, mind you, I, w I want to let you know that I am getting hit hard by YouTube uh, in attacks. I always am. People are constantly telling me they're not getting my thing in their subscription feed. They can't subscribe. Well, they'll subscribe. They'll leave. They'll come back. They're unsubscribed. Their comments ain't showing. Their comments are disappearing. Um, they can't message me. They can't send me a message. Uh, this and that. YouTube um, tries to hit me with violations or remove monetization or, or they'll do whatever they want to do to try to mess with me. And all these videos that I've been putting out here recently, they're catching a lot of flack um, because of what they pertain to. Now, with that said, right now, you're seeing events unfold about these suspects in Boston. I'm about to show you exactly who did it and who did not do it, okay? They're saying, well, hit their families coming out and saying, the aunt's saying that this is a setup. Never happened. Cops are coming out and saying this guy was alive on the ground. They were cuffing him. They had a huge firefight. He was alive. He ran him over. He killed him. Then this guy ran. They track him down to a boat that he's hiding in. Some guy just walks out of the middle of the night, looks in his backyard at his boat, and notices blood on the side. Goes over, flips over the top, looks in, sees this guy hiding all bloody in the boat. Runs, calls police. Why this guy didn't run is beyond me. I would have. I think anyone would have. You've been busted. Duh. Um, anyhow, that's what happened. Cops show up. They say they riddled this whole boat full of bullets. And said that this guy's in serious condition. Well, here he is climbing out of the boat. The helicopter took this pick on his own power. No cops got him by the arm trying to yank him out, cuff him. Nothing. They were probably crapping themselves when they riddled this boat full of bullets and this dude comes popping out alive um with no weapon in his hand you know at this point coming out alive you know anybody could have shot him and probably got a, got away with it um but he's alive now what i want to say is this i don't believe this is your bomber and i'm going to tell you why and i'm going to show you why you see this this is after the explosion, after both explosions, and they're trying to blame these two brothers. You're going to hear it on CNN, Wolf Blitzer. You're going to hear uh, all these guys coming out saying this is extremist, this and that. Chris Matthews tried to say that they were liberals and white right-wing extremists, and now they're blaming these guys. But this guy left the scene with his backpack on. You zoom in and you define it, his elbow cuts up right here, right here, and that is his backpack on his back. He is leaving the scene with his backpack. As for his brother, I'm not sure. I, he's not in the frame, but the two explosions that went off are trying to say that they were set there by these two men from both their backpacks. I'm telling you right now, it's a lie, and I'm showing you. I'm showing you proof right here in front of your face. This is unlike any other event in history. So many people around. So many pictures. So many cameras. So many cell phones. They couldn't stop them all. They can't. All they can do is try to go back and filter it all through the internet. Which is what they're trying to do right now on YouTube. What they're trying to do through all these other sites. And I'm telling you. I, I can't give you any more information to, to let you know that this is a false flag. Other than the guys that they're trying to tell you right now. Are the men, and they know they're not, they're not. You want me to show you who is the man? This man. Same guy I pointed out to you right here. That white square that we talked about only matches one backpack. And all the people that we viewed, all the people that we looked at in the crowd, matches one man, one backpack with the upper zipper, this guy. And guess what? Guess who's running out of the event with no backpack? Blackwater, Kraft, these guys. They did it. There you go. How much more proof do you need? 
your sus well, their suspect leaving the scene with his backpack. They're undercover agents that they're never going to even ever mention on the mainstream media whose backpack matches perfectly to the debris left is seen running out of there without his backpack. Smoked it, folks. This is it. Game over. Dabu7 declares it. I'm officially telling you right here. These are your men. Guilty as charged. You track them down, they're guilty for murder and everybody involved. Let's see what they do to this video. Till next time, Dabu7. And this is Kaluminati.